Hey, Steve. I'm 25 and I'm s s single and I, d d I, I, I have a stutter and um, I'm trying to find love and stuff and I feel that g guys and people don't really take me s s s seriously. So I was wondering because I know you talked about having a speech impediment when you were a kid and I, and you inspire me and you came so far obviously and I look up to that so much and I was wondering if you had any advice um, because I don't want m m men to call it cute. I want to be taken seriously. Okay. So what is your advice for that please? Okay, first of all, let me say this to you. <clears throat> Stuttering is curable. It's nothing physically wrong with you. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I had to learn. I stuttered severely. I mean, what you're doing right now, nothing to compare to what I, I was, I was, I was in a war with it, man. Yes. And I hated going to school because <laughs> you know, you're in a public school and you stutter. Mm -hmm. Have you stuttered all your life? Actually, I've yes, but only at home. In public, like you would not be able to tell, but I'm trying to get Wait a back to that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What, what's your situation now? You stutter in public now, I and you in don't stutter now. at home. Yes, I'm more confident at home. I feel like I can be me, and I am. But I feel like more okay. Let me pressure. ask you a question. Okay. Let me ask you because this, see, this is what, <laughs> and I'm not knocking therapists, but most people who work with kids who stutter have never stuttered. Mm -hmm. They don't even know the pain, man. Yes. They, they don't even know how deep this thing is. So let me ask you a few questions. When you read, do you stutter? No. When you talk to yourself, do you stutter? Not at all. When you think out loud, do you stutter? No. That's because there's nothing wrong with you. Now, they, they've given you all these drills and stuff over the years, words to stay away from. I went to all them classes. Ain't none of that work, dog. Because you know why? Once you, once you give a person a word to stay away from, don't that tighten your butt up a little bit? Because, <laughs> hell, then why, how you going to stay away from words? You can't stop nobody from talking. Yes. You know what I mean? Stay away from ST sounds. Stay away from PR sounds. Don't get it. ST is the worst. Once you say, st you're crying. I don't want you to cry. I help. I'm really can help you. I know, and that's, it's taken a lot because, like, this is, I think, the first time I've really admitted it publicly, and that's, like, my fear. But I thank yeah. you so much. Okay. This is a lot. I feel empowered by it. <laughs> okay, listen to this. Stuttering is all here. Yeah. Uh, don't, you, don't, you, don't, can't, you ain't got to let nobody try to tell you no different. I stuttered for real. Boys that come to my camps who stutter, before they leave the camp, I had one boy stutter so severely he didn't even want to come to the camp. He gave a commencement speech at the end of the camp four days later and did not stutter at all. Because you just have to learn, you just have to learn a couple of things. What makes you stutter is the anticipation that you're going to stutter. Yeah. That's the whole lot <laughs> right there. That's the one thing therapists don't know. Yeah. So when they give you all these drills to study these words and all like this, they don't even know what they're talking about. Man, this dude is tripping. I'm fitting to stutter. So here, here come a girl, like, come here. Can you come here? Yes. Okay, you hold this right here. How you doing? Okay. Yeah. Okay, now listen to me. Stuttering is cute. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you just one little, just a little drill I do with kids, because I know how to stop it. What happens is, you should not respond to anybody until you've said the answer to yourself three times. That's for starters. See, you ain't heard that at the therapist no. thing, because they don't know that move right there, because they, <laughs> the, I'm, you looking at a dude that I could not talk outside my house. I flunked out of school because of this. I'm a vicious man. Yeah. But look, look at me now. So here's the deal. It's like, okay, your anticipation of studying what stops you. So I want you to take this mic. Thank you. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to want you to walk over there. I'm going to walk towards you. I'm going to ask you a question. Before you answer the question, I want you to say it to yourself three times slowly. And when the fourth or fifth time, when you feel comfortable, just say it out loud, okay? Okay. All right, let, go over there. Watch what I'm doing. Now, this is just, this just, just a little... Okay, hold tight. Because you got to give it a shot first. Okay, so I want you to walk slowly towards me. How you doing today? I'm good. Okay, that's one. See, you don't say anything until you... Did you say it to yourself? Yes, three times. Three times. Three and times. And then when you felt good, you, you said it. Yeah. That's the beginning right there. Don't talk to anybody until you said your response three times internally. Then say it. Okay, walk towards me. Okay. Who's the president of the United States? Unfortunately, Trump. Oh, you do... <laughs> Oh, you doing jokes, too? <laughs> do, you, do you understand? Yes. We don't have a lot of time. But in one hour, I could stop you from stuttering. In one hour, you would never stutter again. Please. <laughs> um, this is the first... OK, let me tell you, this is the drill. This is, this is the first thing I want you to do. Okay. If you could do that in front of people, it's easy to do. Second thing I want you to do is stand in front of the mirror and talk out loud okay. all the time. Then, I want you to bring a close friend or relative in and have them stand behind you in the mirror. Don't look at them. What makes you stutter is eye contact. Yeah. You know why? Because people, when you look at people who know you stutter, this how, this how, this how y'all do people who stutter. So how you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. Because you can't help it because you know you're going to be there for a while. And you're just trying to wait it out. How long? Come on. How long? We feel? Yes. Yeah, that, so, but what happens to the stutterer is that they see your anxiety, puts more anxiety in them, and then they lock up. If you just, if you just do those things right there. And then I'm, I'm going to give somebody give you a schedule. I'm, I'm going to talk you through a couple things. You, you won't be stuttering by Thanksgiving. OK? Thank so, uh, Alania, nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too, Steve. First, I want to really uh, commend... Now, I haven't seen you since the show, so I want to commend you for being so brave, for sharing your struggles, um, and especially about stuttering on television. Uh, because I, I know, I know what that is, man. I suffered from it for years, and it couldn't have been easy. How, how nervous were you? Honestly, I was extremely nervous, and it was a lot to do, but I had to. And uh, I had, like, cr crippling anxiety in that moment, but um, using the techniques, it's helped a lot. And all of the people who've been helped by this, I feel like I have friends all over the world now that I talk to frequently. <laughs> That, that video received over 32 million views on our social media, 32 million. What, what ran through your mind when you saw those numbers? It was insane. I had no idea that it would get that big and receive that many views. I was happy. I was a bit terrified, and because the internet can be cr cruel, and I didn't know, like, how things would play out. But people were so n nice to me and so sweet and supportive, and I'm really happy it happened. And I was just, like, ecstatic with it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. So, have, have you been practicing the exercises I taught you? Yes, I practice every day. I actually have a video that I want you to see. <laughs> really? Yes. All right, let's take a look at the tape. Pancakes, waffles, French toast, what is the order of best to worst and, and, and why? Okay, pancakes, French toast, or waffles? French toast, because it's a childhood favorite and my mom always, like, made it and it resonates with me, reminds me of home. <laughs> so you were doing that in the mirror? Yes, in the mirror. See, it's easy to stop kids from stuttering. Because they're just more accepting what you got to say. It's harder to get adults to buy into it. 
So what I just saw you doing was like really amazing to me Thank because you. you can cure yourself from stuttering. And, and it's just, it's an amazing process. I wish more people would understand that. Yeah. I, I hear you got some news that you want to share with yes, me. Yes, I do. So I wouldn't have ever thought in a thousand years that I would find my person and ironically, a person who also has the same um, issue I do with st with stuttering. So he slid in my DMs and he was cute and I was like, okay, let me talk to him. And his name's Brandon and yeah, he's here. So wait a minute, so he saw you on the show? Yes, he saw me on the show. Where's Brandon? Right there. <laughs> hey, what's up, Brandon, how you doing? <laughs> Come on down, join us, man. Hey, what's up, Soul? Pleasure. How you feeling? Good. Good, good, good. So, what was it about Eleni that caught your attention? So, when I first saw her on your show, of course, immediately it resonated with me deeply because for, for once in my life, I felt like that I wasn't alone and that there was another person out there like me who also stuttered. Much less, I never thought it will be a woman. So, when I saw her, on your show, I immediately knew that she was outgoing, she was brave, courageous, and that, that right there checked off all my boxes. So, so I knew that if I had the opportunity to meet her, that my life would change forever, and it, and it has. Really? Yeah. Man, this is so cool. And I, I hear that you've been practicing some of the exercises that I taught uh, uh, Eleni. Yes, yeah, so um, every day when we speak, we push each other to practice, and if we're fumbling over words, we guide each other and support each other through our conversations that we have with each other or friends and family. That way, we're always constantly practicing your uh, techniques. The point I try to make to people about stuttering, because see, you got to study to understand what this is. You, your anxiety causes mm -hmm. it. There's nothing wrong. You, you clear. I'm telling you, you clear. You could be clear in two days. If you just focus, listen to me. I stuttered, man. I'm talking about I couldn't get it out of my mouth. It make me cry sometimes when I think about the pain I was in with that, because I know what it is. You can get yourself out of it, mm -hmm. but y'all done found each other. And, and you're really good, because you're bright as all outdoors, right? You're good-looking people and you're bright. Yeah. You know, you headed back to the East Coast tonight? Correct. And wh where do you live? Here, in Hollywood. I need to try and come over here as much as I can, any way I can, and right now we're both working on something that fits where we'll both be in the same city. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, because I know you're heading out tonight. Uh, I've arranged for dinner for the two of you at a really, really nice place. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a place close by. It's called uh, Cardell Soul. I want y'all to keep working on it. Look. Thank you. The good thing about this, you found each other. Yes. yes. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> so, Eleni and Brandon, enjoy your evening together and the best of luck to both of you. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.